The FIFA 22 web app is a very interesting market right now, but there's definitely lots of coins to be made. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about some higher budget trading methods, sort of like medium to high budget. We're gonna be looking at around 50 to maybe 50,000 coins plus. You could be 50,000 coins to 250,000 coins to 500K million. There isn't really any max, uh, but you need at least 50,000 coins. It would be ideal if you sort of have 100,000 coins plus, uh, but I'm gonna be talking to you through some methods of how you can be making coins, um, not through sniping, not through bidding. This is buying cards at the right time um, and then selling them for more. So as you can see here on this, on my transfer list, the first, uh, the first day that I attempted to do this was with Van Dyke and Mane. Then the second day, I believe it was with um, Nkunku and then both of these Tamoris. And uh, yesterday I did it with Vinicius Jr. and Lorente. These are what I sold last night because essentially the basics of this is to buy um, around uh, around content time, usually a little bit before content time. I'm, I'm currently recording this video 2 p.m. UK time. Um, so around this time is sort of when you want to be buying and then you want to be selling sort of like midnight, uh, evening UK time and Europe time. So this is what I did successfully last night with Vinicius Jr. Uh, I bought this card, I got a really good snipe for 150K and I was able to sell him at 208K. And if you actually take a look at footbin tracker this is what i've been using um if we go here this is where i've logged the profit so so far with this method i've made ninety thousand coins that's realized profit and you guys can see here uh, these are all of the players that i did have on my transfer list so with this vinicius jr like i said it was a really really good snipe uh if we select him here we can actually view it you can see um that this was the sort of point that i bought the card uh, i actually bought him around here uh, I, I bought him when he was 170k, but I managed to get a snipe when he was 150k. So I think this was someone, uh, like I said, 1 p.m., 2 p.m. UK time. That's when I'm currently recording this video. This is the buying period. Um, so somebody probably relisted the card, and then that's how I managed to pick it up. He was actually 170, but somebody relisted it, and I quickly sniped it for 150. And then I literally sold pretty much uh, almost at the perfect time. I sold for around 210k. Um, there was one period this was like right before I was going to sleep I saw he was like 217 and I was like that would have been a nicer point to sell uh, but then I was pretty sure that he was going to go back down and as we can see his price right now he is uh, 195,000 coins um or around 200k so he hasn't gone down too much but that is sort of what I expect I expect these cards to go up but then they're not going to be coming down um they're not going to be coming down back to what they was so I'm, I wasn't expecting Vinicius to go back down to 150 I think there was a certain point today where he was around 170 so 9 a.m he was apparently 186 um but the whole point of this you should be able to cards uh, you should be able to snipe cards cheaper than what they are here so for example if he's 186 you can try and snipe for 180, something like that. And I actually wanna do a little bit of that live right now. So you guys can see um, right now, uh, if we go back to full screen, I'm on 160K, uh, but I literally just sniped this Edda Militao right now. I was just looking uh, just before recording this video uh, and this 70,000 coins popped up and I thought I had to get him. So right now, if I sold everything, I would be close to around 250K. Still EA haven't fixed this, which is just super annoying. Um, I, I, I keep relisting them individually instead of clicking relist all because it counts towards uh, this objective here. If you go objectives and milestones, this one, um, I'm slowly walking, working towards this, which 1.5K right now doesn't, it's not really a lot, uh, but I'd recommend you guys checking this because maybe you've got uh, you've got coins here, which you haven't claimed yet. Uh, and if you, if you are on a lower budget, this is a higher budget trading video, but it can still help. I mean, if you've not had these claimed, you can literally get like 10,000 coins. So um, comment down below if, if, if you did actually find any coins there. But this Edim Tower, I'm pretty confident with 70,000 coins is a pretty good buy. If we go and take a look at him, uh, Fibbin right now is saying he's 70, 72k so that is what i mean i got him for 2000 coins under that's what you always want to try and do if you're doing this method it's just flipping cards right buying them for cheap selling them for high you need to make sure it's super important you don't just buy this for 72k you need to try and get the lowest possible price because that's going to mean you're going to be making more profit um, and obviously that is what we're after so that item and a towel for 70,000 coins is pretty good i'm going to aim to sell him tonight if we see what happened last night you you can see uh, after content time, 
After content time, uh, last night was a little bit different. There was no content and also EA Game Changers got access. So the market really boomed, but I still expect the market to go up tonight. If I can sell him for 78K and we bought him for 70K, that should be 5,000 coins profit or 4,000 coins profit. And hopefully this today, he goes higher than that because yesterday he went from 62K to 78K. So hopefully today he goes perhaps from 72K to maybe like 82K or maybe even closer, um, specifically with Edim Letao, 85K is actually his extinct price. So I, I, I'm optimistic, hoping that he is gonna work towards that optimistic price, uh, uh, towards that uh, extinct price because because everyone's gonna be like, once he reaches like 80,000 coins, 82,000 coins, everyone's gonna be like, oh, he's almost extinct. And some people might panic buy into that. So that's also something you need to keep in mind. Uh, but if we try and find another player, which I can try and do this with, so buy right now at this sort of like lower point and try and sell tonight when he increases in price. Um, Inkunku is an interesting one. Inkunku hit 75K last night. Uh, he was 75K for a while. And right now you can see he is 71,000 coins according to Fitbin. So if I was able to pick this up right now for 71K, um, I'd break I'd break even at 75k. So like like we're saying, hopefully tonight he goes up more than yesterday's high. So if we take a look at Nkunku right now, um, if we can try and snipe him for sort of like closer to under 70k, that'd be really ideal. Uh, this is not a bad price. Uh, that one at 70k. I'm not sure. Should we pick it up? 70,000 coins. We probably don't have a lot of time. 70,000 coins. He's. Mm, let's see. Is he selling? I don't know, it's not the craziest deal, you know? Um, it's not the craziest, but uh, I do think it's a decent deal. But you can see here at 71, I think it's gone now. I think somebody picked it up. Um, but yeah, I mean, that was an okay deal. I, I, I'm trying to look for something better, but essentially if I buy him right now, if I bought that one for 70 uh, and tonight he goes up to 74, um, then I would just be breaking even. But like we said, hopefully he goes up more to like 78 or towards 80K. That is what we're aiming for. But um, if I can if I can find maybe a different card or him actually at a lower price, um, that would be more ideal. So I might sit here for a little bit and see if any if any pop up. And you never know, sometimes, like I got lucky with that Vinny, uh, sometimes like uh, someone relists and then you get a, you get a nice deal. So I'm gonna sit here for, for a couple minutes and see uh, see if any cards pop up. Ooh, 70,000 coins again. Do we go for it? <laughs> oh my gosh, I accidentally opened my file explorer. 70,000 coins. I mean, it's not the craziest. I'm, I'm sort of looking for something better. Um, Okay, now maybe, uh, do we go for it? Do we go for it? I don't, I don't know if we go for it, man. 70,000 coins. It's it's a decent deal. It's not a bad pickup. He could go to like 80K tonight. Um, do we do it? He's gone. <laughs> okay, Inkunku hasn't popped up for a while, so I think it's better to, to change cards. Let's see if in those last few moments if any other cards are red here so we've got tomori was a little bit of an interesting one tomori i had my eye on uh van dyke is okay nothing too crazy there we could also come back to uh in Kunku and check him out after but this tomori looks quite interesting to me so he peaked at around 52k uh, or around, yeah, 48K. I definitely think he's going to hit that again. So if we buy at, let's say, 46, that is breaking even. But again, hopefully he reaches higher tonight. Uh, so let's switch up to Tomori. Let's see if we can get him at 45K or below. Um, we won't buy too many. We'll just buy sort of one. Oh, there's 45K and that's sitting. Interesting. These are at 45K and just sitting. So... Hopefully we can pick one up at sort of around like 43K. 43K would be a very good price. Um, but I don't know if we're gonna get any that low, but that's good to see that there's two at 45. That means the next listing should obviously be at least below that. Um, so this looks, this looks like it has potential right now. Ooh, I'll sit on this for a while and see if any pop up. 42, yes, nice, 42K, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect there, 42K, wow. I wouldn't mind another one at 42. I mean, that's a 3K undercut already. Um, this is sort of what you need, guys. Like, it's a little bit based on 
uh, based on luck, obviously trying to snipe the, the, the best player, but seeing as this is already low, this is already 45k has already come from a low point to from what he was yesterday, and now we just got a 3k undercut on top of that, like, he is 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 not going to get uh, much lower, so that's really, really good. So now if we type in 43k, 43,000 coins, we just need him to be 45k, uh, which is what he's at right now to break even. So if we were to sell right now, it's break even. So anything that he rises, ooh, 44k is decent. 44k is decent. Um, but if I get this, I could still get one in Kunku. Oh, um, there's a lot at 45 though. There's a lot at 45. Um, yeah, I think we'll stick with the 42k, just, just that one. Um, but yeah, anything that he rises now, so say he rises back to 48k, that 3,000 coins is profit. And 3,000 coins profit is a lot right now. And who knows? Say EA don't release content again today. Um, this is going to rise all the way up maybe to 50k plus. So anything is just going to be profit, maybe 5k. We're at least looking at 3,000 coins profit with that one. Um, and it could potentially be 5,000 coins. It could potentially be 10,000 coins if the market just decides to boom. So um, that is, that's really, really good. So I think uh, I could see for a while if I'm going to get another crazy one, like below 44, seeing as we didn't get the one for 44. If I'm being that strict, maybe we go for like 43 or something. Um, if not, we can also, we could go back to Nkunku. I kind of wish I got one Nkunku now at 70. <laughs> one of those that, that popped up, but uh, we'll see. We'll go back to Nkunku. Yep, this looks like to be sitting here at 44, which is good. Maybe someone's going to list under, but this pretty much shows the reason. It explains why the prices keep going down. From the morning, they go down. They keep going down because people are listing and nobody's sort of buying in the morning UK and midday. So they just keep going down and down and down until people start buying up again um, in the evening. And then it's a case of more and more people buying and then uh, the price goes up. So uh, this is pretty much the opposite effect of people listing. It's not selling. So then people undercut, undercut, undercut until we get to content and then it starts to go up. But um, yeah, uh, we'll see if we can pick up a Tomori at 43 or around that price. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy it on that for 43k. Let's see. Uh we can try and go back to Nkunku maybe. Or Harland, for example. The way like my uh, the way I try and look for these cards. So 50 52k. Um see if he goes back to 56, it's sort of like 2,000 coins profit. But again, there might be room for him to uh, move up even more. Uh oh, Kante looks like Kante's been dropping a little bit. This Kimpembe uh, is decent. Ferland Mendy was 58. Ooh, okay. Ferland Mendy looks interesting. If we buy at 52, yo, Ferland Mendy looks really, really good. What about Kante? Kante's highest was 98. Wow. And right now he's 85. Okay. Uh, but this is probably this is probably more accurate. Around 92 for Kante. 92. Yeah. Uh, okay. Right. So the Ferland Mendy right now for profit margins looks really good. 52,000 coins. If he goes back up to, if he goes back up to anything really, uh, even if he goes back to 56, that's quite nice. So let's take a look at Falan Mendy. Last search on Tomori, still there. Okay. Falan Mendy, 52,000 coins. But like we already explained, we want to 50k. Yes, 50k. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, that is very, very nice. What is his price actually sitting at? Okay. So he's got two sitting here for 50. 2,500 coins, right? Yeah, that 50k was a very, very nice pickup. See, it's a little bit of luck, guys. It is definitely a little bit of luck. Um, but now we've got 70,000 coins left. Okay, I think we're probably better off trying to get one in Kunku now. Uh, maybe at that 70k again. Uh, but yeah, that Falan Mindy, guys, again, if we take a look at it. So Falan Mindy, we bought for 50k. I didn't expect him pick him up that low. Now, if Falan Mendy, we're already breaking even. So if tonight Falan Mendy goes up to 58,000 coins, um, then we're going to be making 5,000 coins profit. So again, that is that is quite nice. So yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very nice there. I'm happy with that. Uh, all of these have actually been bought at amazing prices, which is what you guys should be aiming for. You guys shouldn't be settling for less. You shouldn't go into that Ferland Mendy and just pick him up uh, for the 52,000 coins. Try and go uh, for the for the low prices and you will you will create your own luck. Uh, let's go for Nkunku. Let's go back to Nkunku 70k and uh, we can call it a day. 70? Okay. 
I think we'll take that for 70,000 coins. We, we, we could have taken it a little bit earlier, but uh, we've been... Um, we, we, we sat around the bush, but we got it now. And those at 71,500 got bought. So I, I'm still quite happy with that because uh, if we take a look at Nkunku uh, for quickly last time. So Nkunku, he's down here, 70. So he was sitting around 75,000 coins. So that's the highest he's been. That's why I wasn't the biggest fan at the price of 70. Um, but I mean, 1.5 thousand coins profit if he goes back up to where he was yesterday. And hopefully there is potential for him to go up more because yeah, yesterday went from 58 to 74. So maybe today, obviously I don't expect such a meteoric rise, but hopefully similar patterns. Um, but yeah, just to summarize this video to show you guys what I've got, we picked up an Nkunku for 70, um, Tomori 42, and then Edim Letal for 70, and Falan Mendy for 50. Really nice prices. And I'm gonna plan to sell these guys tonight, sort of like midnight UK time. Um, I'll be tracking their prices and I sort of have the feel of them now. If I see uh, Militao at like uh, 80,000 coins I'll, I, and like other cards are starting to, they've gone up and they've started to drop, I'll get that feel and I, I'll know sort of like when to sell him because not all of them, not all of them might have their highest price, highest points at the same time. Some of them might be a little bit earlier, some of them might be a bit uh, uh, later. So you've got to sort of uh, know that and have a feel for it, but don't try and always get the highest selling point. You're not always going to do that. As long as you're making some profit, that's the, that's the goal. But comment down below if this video made sense uh, and also if you guys are going to try it out and have you guys made any profit from it. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.